Hey everyone, welcome back to Open Remote. Our last guest is an award-winning Armenian-American pianist who made her first solo debut at the, uh, Carnegie Hall at the age of 23. She's a regular in our studios and has graced many prestigious stages. And today she will be presenting virtually. Please welcome Karine Pogosian. Hi, Karine. Hi, Rina. Good to see you. It's good to see you too, honey. How are you holding up? Oh my goodness, it's definitely been a little crazy, but we're uh, doing the best we can. Uh, yes, and so um, <clears throat> one of the reasons I, I definitely wanted us to reach out to you is because as I introduced uh, you as an Armenian American, I know that your family is in Armenia and I uh, was just wondering how you're able to remain in contact and what it looks like over there during these it's times. I mean, it's uh, it's incredibly intense. Everyone is also quarantined uh, in uh, Armenia and everyone's being very, very careful. So yeah, a lot of uh, Facebook contact and uh, anxious messages and very uh, sometimes very comical selfies and all of that just to relieve the stress. But uh, thankfully we're all holding up well and it's I think it's just a matter of a lot of patience and you know, just uh, lay low and be patient and um, it will And keep pass. the faith and keep the faith. Indeed. <laughs> it will pass. Yes. <laughs> so um, <clears throat> I noticed you're sitting there next to your partner. I am, my baby. I'm going to assume that you've been getting a lot of practicing in. Indeed. It's uh, it's getting pretty bent out of shape, actually. It's a <laughs> <laughs> day and night. <laughs> But now I'm, I'm very grateful to have my, my dear piano with me at home. Well, it, it's a beautiful thing, right? Uh, because you have a relationship with yeah. a, an instrument that you basically get to control. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, it's, it's uh, my uh, lifesaver. I mean, it's the most therapeutic thing in the world to go into the world of music. And it's, um, it's you know, beautiful vibrations, beautiful sound just uh, soothes your, your soul. So, so very grateful. So just walk me through a day in, in, in the life of Karine with her piano. Uh, well, uh, early in the morning, my favorite thing to do with my morning coffee is to do a bit of journaling. I'm an avid journal journaler and I just kind of write down some inspiring thoughts or uh, things I'm grateful for and goals of the day. And then I dig in, I practice a couple hours um, when I practice, I actually am one of those very boring, slow practicers. So I'm assuming my neighbors are bored to death because <laughs> I'm doing a lot of detail work. Uh, but then I also, towards the end of the day, I do a lot of kind of mini performance type of uh, practice where I just try things out in full tempo. Uh, and just uh, so I guess they don't complain at that point, right? At that point, like, yeah. Oh, we have to go through the process, but oh, yes, it was <laughs> worth it. Hopefully, hopefully they're they're not too annoyed. Yeah, uh, but it's um it's a very joyful uh, life. I'm I'm incredibly grateful to be an artist, a musician. And so you mentioned <laughs> these uh, concerts or these mini uh, videos that you're capturing, and you were sharing uh, with us that you've been doing this on a daily basis prior to this uh, unprecedented uh, uncertainty. And so let's talk a little bit about how you started this in January before we were even mandated to remain under quarantine. I have no idea if this is serendipity. I don't know what this, this is, but it's, it's quite uh, fascinating. But yeah, January 1st, I decided to challenge myself and do a 365-day project on uh, uh, Patreon. And uh, on uh, my page there, I would basically post the little mini performance of the day, whatever I practiced that day. I wanted to push myself and just kind of try it out and uh, share with uh, my supporters, my followers. And it's been a beautiful community, again, as you say, before all this madness, because people just come and say, you know, this is such a nice escape for my day to day. It's uh, uh, my favorite way to end the day or my favorite way to start the day, um, depending on when they watch. And it's just been beautiful. And now uh, this past week, it's become so meaningful. I mean, some of the comments people write, I just I was, you know, getting teary. I just uh, feeling such a, a, a level of responsibility that, you know, I'm doing something really 
um, important. I should I should keep at it. And it's definitely going to be worth something. I mean, you're worth everything as far as I'm concerned, because I personally enjoy oh, visiting you. you at Carnegie Hall. I love sitting in those fabulous seats you, you assigned to you. us. And My favorite two front row seats. <laughs> <laughs> front and center, baby. Yes. With, with your little prodigy eventually, My hopefully. girl, yes. <laughs> Love you, yeah. <laughs> oh gosh, I lost you. Oh gosh, can you see me? Okay, yes, wait. I, I can't see you, but I see the little icon. Okay, here I am. How about now? Oh, there we go. Here I am. So, <laughs> um, anyway, all that to say that uh, the work that you're doing is so important, and the fact that you were already doing this as at the top of the new year and based on our current circumstances and, and the fact that you've committed to 365 days this is going to be one interesting grand concert when it's completed right right that's uh i'll definitely look back uh with uh, uh astonishment and pride and i don't know many different emotions when when the year is done and you know, every every single thing I've experienced throughout the year has been uh, documented with little glimpses every day. These uh, I have some of the um, videos are actually from concerts, uh, so they get the kind of little behind the scene visual. So it's yeah, it's gonna be very special at the end of the year. Oh yes, it's it's almost as if though um, it's your own uh, style or a virtual autobiography, for lack of a better word, through your music. I suppose. And your experience. Yeah. yeah, yeah, basically, yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm looking forward to it. And I understand that you're going to send us off with a, a melody. What will you be playing for us today? Well, I thought we all could use lots of positive, uh, vibrant, colorful uh, energy and some good vibes. So I thought I'd play a little bit of the beautiful Firebird by Igor Stravinsky. Uh, so I'll share with you guys a bit of the uh, finale, the last movement. Bravo. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm looking forward to just sitting back and having my cafe and ah. listen to the beautiful sounds of Karine Pogosian. Thank you. Thank you.
<laughs> you always make me want to cry. Um, I had to write while you were playing. And while I know it's the end of the segment, I have to read this really quickly because <laughs> this just came out of me while you were playing. Uh, it's really quickly, is reality. As we raise our flag for humanity, the silent enemy does not seek by identity before physicality. So I say to us to thee let us remember we are one race and that is the human race oh my god you're making me cry now that is beautiful thank you thank you thank you Mwah. so grateful right now <laughs> oh, gosh oh my gosh i need to close out this segment and and, <laughs> and i'm struggling with it but i want to thank you for loaning your talents and and just being with us during these really difficult times, Karina, and thank you. It's been beautiful to see you. Thank you, thank you for what you do. Please keep it up. Thank you. You guys, once again, for more on Karina Pogosian and to get a dose of her music on a daily basis, you can go to patreon.com. And on March 27th, uh, Friday at 8 p.m., she will also be presenting an FB Live virtual performance on her Facebook page at Karina Pogosian pianist so mi gente that is our show today thanks to all our guests for coming through and to you our viewers for tuning in if you missed any part of the show you can check out the Recablecast tonight and 24 hours a day at bronxnet.tv i'm rena valentine and from all of us here at open may the universe provide peace prosperity and love and uh well digitally linked in solidarity I want to remind you all that we are all in this together. So stay blessed, healthy, and safe. And most importantly, stay home. Stay home. Adios. <laughs>